Cripple Gate of London. Might find an official worth his salt here. One year Easy now. Oh. I beg patience all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady. Huh? Be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? <laughs> I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? Who governs this burr? I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair day and come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with all manner of knavery. Stow! Avgus wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We're talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgus wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! Heaven, you fight like the devil stolen your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Road, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, is that it? I'll have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that's you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that writes easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name, Stowe of Lunden. It's good to meet you, Reeve Stowe. London sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigger we go. What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? 
Dane Hammer. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Eivor. You're a worthy ally. So this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, as early as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. Learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Nundinwich. I was Saxon Birra, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. No, no, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reeve. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde to put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait. Something's wrong. Iron on the ear. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? God, no. No, no, no. Took three arrows to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visitive and shines upon them. You no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Hmm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor? Goes above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke, London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me Second Reef? First, in the Eastboro. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Eivor. She came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with her clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And that got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder on the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome went an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of free such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Oh dear. What is this? Doing hurts from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriga's desk. Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I didn't know. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. Must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. Find anything. Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on, there's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal. Nay, 
It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this god for him to grasp it, even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average, and one massive. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat, probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal and tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attacker took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This kill was a message. Their footprints leave together. Three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by monikers. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The Arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The elites hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the Compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic Temple. I passed it on the way here. Mithraic Temple? Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? Whiff of this fat. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of. <sighs> Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. The temple... Temple of Mithras, well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. <laughs> this place is heavily guarded.
The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a visit. Tools for a surgeon, finely crafted, like we found in the villa. And there is a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing, gutting, the leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I've got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least soon and we'll feast. cautious around here. Don't. 
Hello and welcome. All done. Much better rider now. Finish looking around. I must. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, what? You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum, notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they're called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London, it seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. His name suggests that he's an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I can't say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately. But not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again, in several places. Cut to pieces. Good lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He's mentioned often, but there's little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. We kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let's not waste any more time. We will find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. Stowe, I'll catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him.
attack on sight here. Sodidum planetum revolutam. Tune in.
Is this the leech's work? Yeah. New corpses every day. If you are the only target for your people's fear, then they will turn on you. They're scared. If I am to be redeemed, I owe them the leech. How many bodies is that now? A score have been uncovered. Definitely the leech's work. How can you be sure? Their eyes are scooped out. Black, empty caverns. Same as Trigger's gods. There must be hundreds of people passing by here each day. Anyone see them dumped? It's the riverbank, Vinner. Every crooked dealing in this city goes through here. Heard from Stowe yet? About the arrow? The leech is my focus just now. Does something worry you? Ah, no, just jacking up on the old sparrow heart. You two are close, like brothers. Yeah, yeah. Close like brothers, you could say. Erke! Tell me it wasn't her! It wasn't your daughter, dear Kida. Take a breath. Oh, thank Freya. I have such a fear I will find her down here. She works errands for a smith who sends her to these docks. Most times at night. I cannot stand it. When did she go missing? A few days back. Left after sundown. Never came home, my Regna. Gods, if I could see her again. I haven't seen her in two days, and feared the worst. In London, you must always fear the worst. What sort of job did she have? Ran errands and the like. She would make a delivery, trade it for hack silver, and scurry back to her smithy. Do you know the name of the man? Name. But I wish I did. I would box his ears and harvest his nuts. Anything else you remember? I had a neighbor once tell me she saw Regna, lingering for a time under the London Bridge. Worried me sick hearing that. That's a good place to start. Thank you, Gida. A shady smith, a missing child. It's a lead with some weight. London Bridge after sundown. It's worth a look. Good. I'll hang about here and keep things calm. And Eivor, don't drop your guard around these dogs. Do I look like one who could? Show me. Follow him. See where this leads. 
walk any fast Et dixa ad eos rapscaios andreas dominus noster et kia Is this the place or no, just meandering? This area is off limits.
You got the purse I'm out. Huh? Who the fuck are you? I'm the one asking questions, Sootfinger. Did you craft a set of surgeon's tools for someone called the Leech? You think shit! Not hell nor Valhall will want you once I'm done! Aid me, be my eyes. See me, this will get messy. <clears throat> this is where the leech dissects her prey. Draw attention here. Oh. 
One more, that's all. I'm nearly finished. That's enough. Oh, it's you. For all the dead we collect, dear sister, you and I are equals. Quite a charnel house. I I'd lost count of how many. I suppose I've been greedy in my research, but not for lack of care. The Ancient Ones, the Arbiters, they built us out of simple pieces. So easy to break, so difficult to mend. There must be an improvement. We should be stronger, faster, smarter. I could have fixed us. I could have made us better. We are blood and bone and spirit, freed us with. Perfect as we are. You've such beautiful eyes. Finish it. Would you? Yeah. 
It is done. Ah! The leech is blared out. And did you catch a name? A nun. Name of Friedesvith. What? The good sister? That can't be right. She was a saint. A healer and a... <laughs> God! That brick fits this week's wall of shit. You knew her? She saved me. Mended the broken leg. Thought I'd lose it. But not with Frida's way. You wouldn't know it was ever broken. The sands will run backwards now. Without her, we'll return to balancing humors. All of that for this. Secrets of the human form. How she saved lives. And how she ended them. It might be the ravings of a madwoman. Not every problem has a clean solution. True. Very true. I've built my name selling the hard fix. I'll live with it. This was her fix. All her ideas and discoveries written here. Ill-gotten gains. I have a mind to burn that bloody tome. Is that the right call? It has cures for everything. From boils to broken bones, it's worth keeping. We fight wars to save those we love, and pay in blood for what we win. This book... This is your good sister's battlefield, her kingdom. You may be right. We can't return the dead to life. But their sacrifice can mean something. If you need me, I'll be at St. Paul searching for something on the compass. Thanks for all this, Broga. Me, Eivor, will hunt them all. Join your blade to mine. Let ring the sword song this day. myself here. <laughs> Eivor, welcome to the West Market. A lawman like you could set folks on edge in a square like this. 
Why not wear a cloak? Hide my face? Not a chance. It does the people good to see a lawman in the hunt. You and Erke found the identity of the leech. Some holy healer. She was called Friedesvith. Had an appetite for eyes. If this order can corrupt London's favored saint, what hope do we have? Any noise yet? About the Aero and recruits? I've heard whispers. Somewhere here, a man gives you a coin. And this coin grants you entry to a contest run by the Arrow's men. Which man? I see too many here. He's good at blending in. I haven't spotted him yet today. I'll sniff around. You stay back. Eivor! What was your impression of Erke? You suspect him of something? I don't know. Whoever killed Trigo was a close friend, and... It was Erke who found the body. I know Erke so well, and I can't bear to think you'd do something so vile. But... Then don't. Wait for proof before you condemn your friend. Ah, forgive me. My latest thoughts have been restless. I've been a Reeve for so long. Fighting for God's justice. I shed my earthly attachments for his great plans. But... But you couldn't shed Erke and his friendship. No. No, I'm not sure I could. It's good to talk, unburden your soul, clears the mind and lifts the weight off the chest. Yes, indeed. And thank you for listening. I should find one of these coins soon. Will you be around? I'll return to St. Paul's just down the road. Godspeed, Eivor. You got the coin? Show me. Is that the coin? For the archery contest? Keep off, boyo. This is my coin. My shot. You want one? You talk to my mate Husa, and he'll point you through. I heard the trick for this job is three stubs of silver. <laughs> engraved with an image of the London Colosseum. <gasps> Come, see my wares. Always good to pick up new stock for the shop. You never know when this might come in handy. Seems like you're expecting trouble. Nothing else? I must take my leave. So long. Rami Mum's house. I think they're Thinking they can stink up the place. What's your business? Shooting or watching? You're looking for skilled archers, and now you've found one. This contest is private. Invitation only. 
Your men are handing out these coins like they were on fire. Is this enough? It's enough to keep us talking. But I'll want to see how well you handle that bow before you go any further. Want a trial round to test your eye? I'll shoot a practice round, just to be sure. Go ahead then. They're all set up. How was that? You've got quite an eagle eye on you. I've had enough practice. Let's begin. A real fanatic you are. Get ready. It's a simple contest here. Hit all targets true before the sand runs down. Here's the new competitor. A Norse from the Norden Wilds of Mercia. And our current reigning champion, Sayed. All right, take your mark. Hook set! Arrows not! A cheat! A cheat! It was a fair shot! Carry on! Eivor leads to victory! That's deadly aim you have. Best I've seen for some time. Well shot! You have earned your place at the Arrow's side today. He'll be eager to meet you. Hold yourself to the Imperial Arch and speak with our man, Hussa. Recite the phrase. May the Father of Understanding guide us. And he'll know it's you. Are you Husa? Yeah. And who's asking? May the Father of Understanding guide us. And may the Mother of Wisdom give us strength. You're to stand just there, look your best when the arrow comes forth, and keep still. Friends! Brethren! Good people of London! We have had... A hard week. Cowardly invaders stole into our governor's home and robbed him of his life. Trigger, my friend, my leader, slaughtered like a dog by outsiders, by the enemy. Do we expect his reeves to guide us? Some arsed halfwits let Trigger die. They think we're safe. But our governor knew. He confided in me his real plans to protect London. It's a hard thing to raise the rats of a city into warriors. Hook set! You raised no one. You only trapped them in their cowering fear. Draw strings! First wave fire! 
No. I gave these men order. I gave them purpose. I showed them their common enemy. Anchor strings! Second wave fire! I was arrow for their rage. Without a foe to consume, we devour ourselves! He speaks too. A man without an enemy defeats himself. Justify all you want. You're just a king killer and a coward. Mighty high horse, you'd do the same if you were me. Aim and fire!
Has saved me from broken fingers. I have never seen a nun play such an instrument. I learned the tile harper from church. I used it for coin. Turned away from God to a life of sin. The Gleeman, we were called. The finest bards in all London. Our music moved statues to tears, but no more. The Lord demanded I return to the fold. I begged Izane to join me, but she still toils with devil and drink. Music and dice have led her astray. She and that Kine wolf. All my financial woes stem from their greedy shenanigans. You have debts, you mean? Large enough to send you into hiding? How dare you imply that I hide behind my cloth from men who would break my instruments for a mere 50 silver? Fifty silver I can cover, but for that sum I want to hear the Gleeman perform together, one last time. Oh, you are temptation wrapped redemption, stranger. I have missed the dice dearly. Perhaps God has other plans. What do you see, Sunan? Stretch your wings, Sunan. Survey the area, Sunan.
You're unharmed. Praise be to God. It will take more than a few lads with newly polished bows to fail me. The arrow was a boy. A man with a boy's brain called Avgus. Avgus? That can't be right. I could return with his head on a spear if you'd like to see. No. You've no reason to lie. Yet Avgos, my old friend, had no cause to murder. He saw Lunden as a kiln of rage. To harden the softness of its younger men. Perhaps I ignored in him what I hoped not to see. Ambition. Greed. Anger. From one man such hatred is easy to spot. But from many, it's a fog that fills the room. Power. Men will claw for it, and cling to it at the cost of everything. Very true, and it's cold comfort, when glory has the taste of your family's blood. Two targets down, only the compass remains. If it were my men killed, I would be on my way to London now. The compass will come, and we must be ready, expecting the worst. I don't want anyone catching me off guard. Could we take the fight to him? There may be a way. Let's regroup in the church when you've had time to rest, Broga. The good sister was murdered! And where were your guards? You hear me, Erke? Her blood's on you! It's a ruse, I tell you! It's them that killed Trigil and shifted the blame! Yeah. <laughs> 
I have come from afar to join your crew, Eivor. By Thor, I'll be ready when you need me. Must be blocked from the other side. should not be seen in this area.
die!